The Kansas Jayhawks are going to the Elite Eight. Right now, KU fans are feeling the victory in Lawrence, celebrating together along Mass Street, where they plan to be again on Sunday. We have team coverage tonight from the team in the Windy City to the fans in Lawrence. That's where we start with KSHB 41 News reporter Dan Cohen. Kansas is feeling elite after a stressful Sweet 16 for these fans here at Bill Winkles tonight. Kansas advances to the Elite Eight with a win over Providence. And these fans had a long night. The ups and downs of this game were everywhere, but they are now ready for another game day in Lawrence this weekend. You couldn't ask for a better day. Beautiful weather, happy customers, KU in the Sweet 16. And, you know, we're excited to see them get the win and, and continue on and play Sunday. We've turned it around and done pretty well lately, but I always tell people there's no rearview mirror. I'm not making up what I lost. We're just moving forward. It's all fun, but we all we all work together. We all do the jacks to pull out and win. So I'm really happy for this team, not even the team, but this 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 university. So here in the triangle where the wheel and the bowl are located, they will have a day off on Saturday, and then they're going to be welcoming fans back on Sunday for the Elite Eight as Kansas is one win away from the Final Four. Reporting in Lawrence, Dan Cohen, KSHB 41 News. Sports reporter Aaron Ladd continues our team coverage from Chicago where the game wrapped up just over an hour ago. Aaron, this one came down to the wire, my man. Dia, I think we're finally able to catch our breath after what was a back and forth affair for much of the second half. Like you mentioned, if you want to call it a street fight, if you want to call it a rock fight, whatever you want to call it, this one as close as everyone predicted, but Kansas pulls out the victory. 66 to 61 and they got to thank the Arizona State transfer Remy Martin doing what Remy Martin does in the month of March and that's carry the Kansas Jayhawks 23 and 7 in this monster sweet 16 matchup not to be outdone by the Robin to his Batman in this one it's Jalen Wilson when KU needed a bucket the most he comes down the court gets a tough and one and helps KU move on to the Elite Eight. I think uh, the first half was about as well we could guard uh, so you know I told the guys at halftime you know when another team shoots it like they shot it and how we guard them only to be up nine, that's not a great sign. And, and uh, uh, but, you know, we made them play poor. They made us play poor. Uh, but, you know, if the other team can't score, you're not going to lose very often. And even though we didn't guard them great the second half, I, I think the totality of the game, certainly that played to our favor. Toughest team will always win. Uh, you know, I try to be the toughest guy on the court that I can be and also have the toughest team on the court. So I feel like with that mindset that we have, you know, chip on our shoulder, I mean, we'll, we'll be able to get through any situation like tonight. We do what needs to be done. We listen to coach. And, um, you know, once we're in that, those type of environments, we just revert back to that and, and um, you know, stay calm and let each other know that, you know, they're going to go through their runs. But as long as we stick together like we've been doing the whole season, uh, we're going to get through this. Well, Kansas stuck together and they moved past Providence into the Elite Eight. But who will KU play on Sunday with a chance to advance to the Final Four? Well, it's between Iowa State and Miami, who are actually facing off right now here at the United Center. We'll talk much more about this matchup and preview that matchup later this hour in sports. We'll see you then. All right.